He was ripped off the reef by a shark thief. A baby shark named Snart was caught in a shopping trolley trap. Inside the trolley was a fish-shaped lolly. He realised it was a bait, but it was too late. He was being wheeled up the wharf by a pygmy dwarf named Orf. Awful fellow was a funny shade of yellow. Two gummy sharks frolicking near the wharf saw what was happening said, We've got to stop Orf! Stop Orf they did, to visit the local squid. They wanted him to squirt off off the wharf with his stinking ink. What do you think? They said to Sid the squid. It'll cost you a quid, said Sid the squid. They were pissed off, but coughed up the quid, and he said what he did, and he did what he said. So Sid the squid knocked off the dwarf off the wharf, and the gummy sharks rescued the baby shark snark. They raised the little fellow on jello, because they thought he was gummy too. They were all regular visitors to the baths on the beach at high tide, where they gave people a ride, where they frolicked with local swimmers and stone skimmers, kissing people on the cheeks brought cheeks of joy to people floating on the nearby buoy. Nobody noticed the snark's teeth when he was allowed to go with his gummy mummy to fool in the pool. Well, this cheeky boy on the boy said to the snark, Kiss my cheek, and presented his bottom. And kiss it it is, this exuberant kid. He saw left his mark. He, the shrieks of the boy, weren't of joy but of pain, and he yelled again and again, Shark! 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 And it cleared the pool and the beach and the whole park. They hunted for the snark till well after dark. Once again, the gummy mummy had to rescue her son, who was on the run from a spear gun. Another quid to Sid the squid, and he clouded the area where the snark hid. His inky black dye, too dark for the eye of a passer-by. End of story. Bye.